video is sponsored by Squarespace. Very near. The biggest typhoon in like 70 years. Oh, they don't think I'm poor. Still got their hand on it. Okay, they got drugs in here, y'all. They got drugs. Did you what? You can't drink coffee. You want to? Why are you tired, girl? You ain't did a dang thing. Coffee. Coffee is crap. The best month of the year has begun. It's October 1st. Like, I got messages. Okay. <laughs> October is definitely my favorite month of the year. And it's not even because it's my birthday. It literally just is the perfect month and everything is going on in October. I'm actually getting ready to go to a meeting and I need to leave the house in literally five minutes and I haven't done my hair. I have so much junk going on and 90% of it I can't even talk about, which is annoying. Soon, hopefully, in due time. I just don't like talking about stuff until it's like set in stone. I don't like counting chickens. I don't even want to mention it just in case everything doesn't work out. If you are new to my channel, my name is Sunday Love. I hope you stick around, subscribe, and join the family because we a family over here. Okay? okay? Also, if you did not know, I'm a sick girl. <sighs> and I have meetings back to back every single day this week, which doesn't really work for me because I get sick really easy. Like, I went out yesterday to work, came home. Today, I have to go back out. I'm just like, I'm already feeling sick. It just doesn't take much to put me in the grave. I'm not going in the grave today. So yeah, I'm gonna get ready really quick, run to my meeting. This weekend is gonna be messy, y'all. It's gonna be, this month is gonna be messy. Bear with me and welcome to the month of vlogs. All right, just got done running errands. You know, like the really stressful one, the ward office. But actually the ward office isn't as bad as I remember. Uh, somehow this is my first time ever coming to Royal Host. It's like, like a family restaurant, like all the other sites area, like a Denny's, but somehow I have never been to this one. Sanitize. Actually, it's so strange. I haven't been to most of like the cheap places that everyone would go to. Like, what is the other one? Sukiya and uh, the bowl. The other one has a like, yellow and... Yoshinoya. Not Yoshinoya. I haven't been there either Not though. Yeah. I'm gonna go out to eat. I'm eating something good and I'm never in a situation where I'm like, oh, I need something fast and cheap. If I am ever in those situations, I'm in a car usually and I get McDonald's or, or ramen. So I just don't have any chance to eat all these family places. So I'm excited. I've never been here. I don't know why you ain't here. Apparently, um, Ash has never been here either. Yeah. This is why he don't have a channel. If y'all keep asking. So that feedback you just got. I'm actually like fine at because this looks like one of the. Uh, a bit more fancy. Yeah, it looks like one of the fancier family restaurants. So. No, this menu is huge. You on the steak page? This, Whoa. This is steak page. All right, number one, we have fishes that I didn't know came with the mussels. 780 yen. A really good looking grilled chicken salad with a shrimp. 1,500 yen. Spaghetti bolognese with eggplant. 1,500 yen. A steak plate with hamburger steak, steak, a lobster tail, half a lobster tail. And some other goodies. 2,700 yen. They still got the head on it. Good. Yes, I'm eating fish heads. I'm already impressed. It's actually delicious so far. Uh, why haven't I been to Royal really Host? Why did I even bother with Caesarea? Ew, and Gusto. I don't like Gusto. That's the one that. Ew. Royal Host, you get an absolute yes. Running errands literally all day. I'm so exhausted. Running errands in Japan like drain you so much faster because everything's in Japanese and it's just like. And everyone keeps asking me like, why don't you study Japanese? I do. That does not mean that it's easy to learn. It does not mean that everyone learns very easily. So yeah, like I, I'm pretty good with understanding. Like when they're talking to me, I can understand, but I cannot say anything. <laughs> like you, you can say the sentence to me, and I can repeat exactly what that sentence means in English, but I can't say that sentence. Yo, everybody learns different. <sighs> Anyways, uh, I brought my laptop and like my notebook and all my stuff because I'm just gonna do a whole bunch of work right now because I have some time because 
someone's not available right now, so I have some time to myself. Might as well not waste it and do some work while I'm here. I need to log in. This is my website. Do you have a website? Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. So much of our world is online, and if you have an idea, something that you want to display, a business that you want to start, you're going to need a website. Squarespace is the perfect place to do that. It is an all-in-one platform that lets you create a variety of beautiful websites or an online store or even a podcast. The process for this project I've been working on has been so much easier thanks to Squarespace. They have so many useful features. You can connect your social media accounts to display your posts. You can set up a fully functional website in literally minutes with all of their beautiful templates, 24 seven customer service, and they have very useful analytics to help you track how your site is doing. If you're interested, head over to squarespace.com and sign up for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Sunday love. You can save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Thank you again, Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Probably the first day so far that I can say I'm not hot. So I am at. You literally can't tell. This is just like somebody's house. It even got a number on it. I'm at Blue Door, the cafe that I always go to. <laughs> got my soy latte. I found a raccoon out here. Ever since then, I've been like looking for him, but I think he's gone. Last time I saw him, he looked like he was struggling. I named him Mangley. Mangley, where are you? I think this dude think I'm crazy. I'm over here just screaming. <laughs> Anyways, today we are going up to Yokosuka, which is where the naval base is. She really goes slow down to see what I'm doing. Girl. One of the subscribers I met at that little meet and greet thing that I had at Iki, one of the cafes that I always go to, other than Blue Door. He works on the naval base and he's moving and he was like, hey, do you want my oven? And I'm like, bro, yes. He's gonna let me have his oven. I'm so excited because it looks like a real one. The buttons are in English. It looks like something that was made in America. It's like one of those little ones that you can put on the counter. First thing I'm gonna make is some lasagna. I swear, I have this conversation with so many people on the internet that they just really don't know. And I don't blame them because I didn't know either. Like, I always thought Japan was so advanced technologically and it was just so far ahead of America and all that stuff. And they just had stuff that we couldn't even imagine, like flying cars and stuff. No, no. Some things are advanced, like the trains, but for the most part, it's so far behind. Not having a dryer and having a cat is a nightmare. I have hair on everything, and you get a lint roll, it's just so inconvenient. Like, I'd rather just throw something in the dryer. Also, when you have a dryer, your clothes won't get wrinkled. But hey, just the dryer. It's the dryer, the oven, a stove with four eyes, garbage disposal. There's a lot of, like, things in the house that they don't got. Not complaining, just saying how it is. Because a lot of us didn't know. I think they have, like, some kind of dryers, but it's not really like the American ones and most houses don't even have hookups to have one so yeah. Ain't no hash browns? Why they just don't serve the hash brown all day? I don't even understand why not. Crack. Crack in it. Got something new. Ah, Tsukimi pie. I think it's mochi and anko. Pies in Japan actually look nothing like the American ones. Like the American ones are like baked. These are fried. I don't know if you can even tell. The last one that had mochi in it, it was that spring one, the cherry blossom one. That one was fire. So I don't know. I'm hoping this one's just as good. Mmm. Oh yeah. One side's mochi, one side's uncle, which is like red bean paste. Sweet red bean. Oh, it's so good. Okay, McDonald's. Okay, I'm dry. Uh, maybe later. Rude. Right, we made it, and Ronnie's getting us base access. I don't even know what the base is like, but I'm excited because they might have gravy packets, and I've been craving gravy. Is that weird? Oh, they might have hot Cheetos. Oh. But I'm gonna show you the other way. We get in the grand tour. It's a whole little city in here. Because a lot of people, if they're not a certain pay grade, they have to live on base. Oh shoot, that thing is massive. I wish he told me that they had makeup. I did not know. I was just like thinking snacks for some odd reason, bro. They literally have brown girl makeup every- oh, I guess of course? I don't know. Why am I- I'm so in shock. I'ma go broke. Literally was on a nub of my eyebrow pencil. Best eyebrow pencil in the world. I'm so happy. Oh. And we even lost our NYX NYX. I don't even know what they want to call it. We lost this though. We used to have this in Harajuku and it got taken away. This is a really pretty bottle. Oh, oh. 
my favorite foundation of all time, which I'm currently out of. I ran out of my foundation a while ago and I have a bunch of that brand, but it's not really my color. Like, can you tell? I don't know. I remember there was like a whole spell that I went through where my foundation was yellow. Very embarrassing. Problem continues because I don't actually remember what it is. Maybe it's like W something. Nutmeg. Was it nutmeg? No. Was it chestnut? Fudge. And then in the winter, I'm a whole nother color. Oh man. This stuff is expensive, but literally game changer. Like you probably won't try another foundation after this one. It's so good and it lasts a long time. You only need a little bit. You wanted me to lose all my money. This is your plan. <laughs> you know damn well. Okay, I've heard great things about this. Guys, is this good? I've heard this is like amazing, but I've never actually tried it. It's pretty pricey. Ooh, $70. First y'all let me know if it's good and then I'll get it. I'm not gonna just get it. I know you did this on purpose. What am I talking about? You brought me over here so I could spend all my money and think about you every time I draw my eyebrows. I up. love spending other people's money. Not expecting them to have makeup, so I'm like having a moment. Why do you have Victoria's Secret in here? There's things that, that aren't custom out here that we want to make sure people can get. Look, I got them in the <laughs> panty aisle. I got them looking at bras, y'all. You you need this. I need this? Yeah, you gotta wear it. The best part, it comes with these nice shorts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it look good. I'm getting Walmart vibes. His fault. Oh, I should not be this excited to be in the toothpaste aisle. <laughs> what is that? You trying to drop a hint? What you play with baby toys for? It's not gonna be me. <laughs> Why am I so excited in the toothpaste aisle? Ooh, Tom's. <gasps> Wait, what's this black one? I never tried the black one. With activated charcoal, bruh. We gonna try today. Where are we going? Okay, we're, we're gonna go through these aisles, then we're gonna go we're, we're around this way. It's like Costco, we got processed. Wait, y'all got drugs? <laughs> yeah. Can I take this out? Stop playing. <gasps> Oh, fudge, no. Vigo. Buy your shit? Vigo. I think you're gonna buy two of these at a time. Oh, fudge, really? Because I was gonna get like eight. They got drugs in here, y'all. They got drugs. I'm excited. Good eyeball. Gravitated towards the Carmex. Now they're nasty. Amazing, dude. I love that. I love that. You would get a cat. You know, because he's a new cat daddy. Call me SpongeBob. Stack of Krabby Patties. Cat daddy. See, this ain't even fair. So that means the base chick's in here with the edges on fleek while the rest of us outside looking fuzzy. Y'all got got to be. That's wow. That's jacked up. No wonder we can't get no man. It's the ones over here with the edges on fleet taking all the men. Hey, hey, son, I thought you were getting snacks. Oh, if you don't, as he drags me through the tour <laughs> aisle, pointing at things that I should probably get. <laughs> Wait, are you finding a karaoke machine? <laughs> I feel like we need this, though. Stay with me and I will be. Yes. <laughs> Look at his mouth. Japan, Sony, they only sell them in Japanese. They don't sell them in English. Not having a whole Apple section. You did it's it. It's not my fault. What did I say in the car, though? You said I'm not going to buy anything. I think the background music for this segment is going to be... Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> We done got a printer. It's just stuff that you literally can't get, like peroxide. So like being here just reminded me of how much stuff we don't have in Japan. I was literally just talking about this earlier, like for house stuff, but like products as well. There's so much stuff. I wasn't expecting to get that much, but like every single aisle, I'm like, oh my God, that's my opportunity to have this. Like basic stuff, rubbing alcohol, peroxide, nails bar. <laughs> In there. And you're gonna use this and you're gonna slide up and down. Where do I put the food at? Right there. Go back and forth, back and forth. America, I don't know what does. America. This is great. Uh, it's great? 
Oh, is she? Who put mashed potatoes on? Oh, that's wrong. I understand macaroni, but not mashed potatoes. That's just wrong. This is so good. Now I have to live without this too. I didn't get to try the Popeyes burger because it was sold out every single day, so I never got to try it. As you may know, October is my birthday month, and my friends threw me the greatest birthday surprise anyone could ever ask for. Hello everyone, this is Layla. For those of you who don't know me, I am one of Sunday's friends in Tokyo. It's almost Sunday's birthday, October 23rd, but we're celebrating it one week before. But I have a couple of surprises for her. So the first surprise is Disney Hotel, which she doesn't know about. The next day we're going to Disneyland, and we're going to celebrate her birthday at Disneyland because it's Halloween Disney, and Sunday's never been to Disneyland or Halloween Disney, so that'll be fun. The second surprise is that our friend Carla, you might know her. She recently moved to Kyoto, so she's coming to Tokyo to see Sunday for her birthday. And I have a third surprise, third surprise. My sister is here. She came from Vancouver to celebrate Vancouver, Sunday's Canada. birthday. Vancouver, Canada. So hopefully Sunday will be surprised and I'm really, really, really excited because I love surprises. And hopefully, I don't know if she uses this video because it's really embarrassing taking this video in public. <laughs> <laughs> and my friend Yuta's here, but he's not coming. He's not coming. <laughs> but Sunday, Sunday knows him. He's not invited. Sorry, it's a girl's thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye. I have been so overworked recently, and this surprise was just everything. My heart is full. It was the recharge I needed. But yeah, I'm gonna link to the video where we went to Disneyland if you guys want to see, because it's a lot of fun, and I also give you guys a lot of tips if you do want to go to Tokyo Disneyland. Okay, I know we just like came from Disneyland and ate literally everything you could possibly eat, but like, how is it a birthday if you don't get ramen? Ramen! I googled to some really delicious looking ramen and they have parking. Yo, what's it called? Nanashi. Like you know it's good when there's a garlic smasher. This just looks like it's gonna be fire and it smells like it's gonna be fire. The floors are slippery, that's a good sign, yeah? Definitely a good sign when the floor's slippery. This looks like what dreams are made of. Now that's a good birthday. Wow, this looks fire. Let's see. Tis the season for hot pot. Over on my Instagram, everybody was asking me what these containers were at the grocery store. Basically, when these come out, you know it's fall. It's just like a hot pot kit with all the ingredients you'll need. Hot pot is such a go-to meal during this season when it starts to get cold. Super cheap, super filling, easy to make. I had all the ingredients to make it myself. I don't actually have the kit, but I did get like the vegetable kit for hot pot. Comes with all the assorted vegetables that you would normally find in the dish. So yeah, that's what I'm making tonight. put all these ingredients in this broth and that's it. Like no chopping, no oil. You just throw it all in one pot, cover it and it's done. It's so amazing. You don't even need udon noodles. A lot of people make theirs without noodles and just do the soup and like have a side of rice. But for me, you know, <laughs> noodles are life. Do you want to Nowadays, you might consider it more of a summit for- Easter energy? Yeah, there'll be lucky if we can run the marathon at all. Ah, especially because the typhoon might hit. Really? <laughs> 
I look like a drowned rat. I look like I've been doing small pot. Why do I look so dead? I look awful. These bags. Oh my god, I need to stop working. I can't wait to sit on the beach. Not the beach. I want to sit in Kyoto. I want to sit in the Kyoto River and sip Kyoto beer. Stoppy shop? A stoppy shop. That's my dream retirement. Hello, I'm in Kyoto. <laughs> Very last minute trip. Um, as you can see, I didn't do my hair, didn't do my makeup. I barely put on proper clothes. Kind of, my titty was hanging out. Half of the dang train ride. I'm a mess. I'm here for business. It was very last minute business, but you know what they say. If you stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready. And I was ready, so we're here. I don't know how Ash was ready. He always down for the ride. My camera bag was ready. All I had to do was put some clothes in another bag and I was good. I told this man, bring formal clothes. I promise you, tomorrow he gonna have on a t-shirt and some shorts and I, he's not coming. He's not coming to this meeting. Guilty. Like, I'm here for business. I'm black. This dude gotta have a beard and a ponytail. You know how bad that looks in Japan? We look like some drug dealers. We don't look like we're here to make a business transaction. Dude, display my clothing options for you. Yes, put them out. Let me see what you got. <laughs> you ain't about to make me look bad. He here to translate. Got me looking like I'm silly crack. I didn't even bring my watch. Oh, they gonna think I'm poor. Blue shirt. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, at least it's a button up. Nice Told job. You, these. It looks like you might golf in these, so maybe. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, this actually works. If See, you have these two. Okay. Actually, this this works. What shoes did you bring? Well, the same ones as well. Loafers. I don't have any loafers. Why don't you have any loafers? Because I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> this cute though. Yeah, I'm sure this is fine. Very important meeting tomorrow. Good morning from Kyoto. I just got all ready. We're going to go to the meeting that I came here for. Hopefully this doesn't take all day, but I have a feeling it will. But yeah, after that, we're going to be in the Arashiyama area. So I think I'm going to ask the company to just leave us there so we can go do stuff in Arashiyama. I brought a change of clothes so I don't have to walk around in uncomfortable formal clothes all day. That is the plan for today. I'm just praying that we have free time to do something else. Also, the biggest typhoon in 70 years is hitting Japan right now. So nothing's guaranteed. And it just started raining and I curled my hair. <sighs> Business is done. We're in Arashiyama, as you can see. We're just like literally contemplating what to eat because there's so many options. Do I want to go the cafe biscuit route, like really girly? Or do I want to do the grungy traditional vibes at Stompy Shop and get a rice bowl? We also have flaming burgers to choose from. There's a lot. We haven't eaten yet. First thing we're going to do, I think, is get coffee because that's a must, right? Arabica! table at the cafe for ten dollars for 30 minutes thing for me it's worth it for most ten dollars to sit down makes absolutely no sense but did you see this view look at it worth more than ten dollars if you ask me they should be charging 20. today we're supposed to be getting the biggest typhoon in like 70 years last time i was here they were building these adjustable flood walls that weren't finished yet but they're finally finished i hate them so much they're blocking some of the view and then I was like, it'd be great if they can like lower them and then raise them when they need them. And Ash was like, like today? I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> so they're up right now because there's a typhoon coming and it helps to like keep the water in the river. In the river. Is it a river? See? Very near. here for like vacation so we're literally just chilling like we have no plan no schedule there's nothing we need to see there's no shots we need to take we just chilling which is kind of nice i think our only main objective today is to eat that's a good objective to have it is i think i'm feeling stop a shop they got crab they got crab claws if they don't have crab claws we can go though we should probably ask first you got the connies or nani that made sense to it no. or what 
Oh, uh, what? See? Nani! Hey! I got butter. Call me Lil Sunday. Rashiyama Crab Track. Drop it next week. Get that. Mm. In stores. iTunes. <laughs> Like, I know there was a typhoon warning, but there's no rain right now. There's nothing. And I thought this place would be way more crowded because it's a national holiday. But it's actually really empty right now, which is great for me. Yeah, it's a holiday. Yeah, it's a holiday. Hey, it's a holiday. It's a holiday. I got... What is going on? My favorite strawberry mochi shop is no longer selling strawberry mochi. I feel so sorry for everyone who never got to try strawberry mochi. Or maybe like it's just a seasonal thing. How oh, sad. sad. Dang, the whole strawberry mochi's gone. Well, dang. Wow, the bamboo forest just looks like a bush. Nice. It's so dark in there. Cause the bamboo is so full and overgrown, it's covering all of the light. And it's cloudy. And it's cloudy today. This is definitely the stickiest I've ever been. Like it's just wet. Wait, wait. Like, it shouldn't be hot right now. It just shouldn't. But it is. It's still hot. Oh, stop it. God can't make something too perfect, because if it is too perfect, it'd be ruined. If Japan had perfect weather, I don't think I'd even be able to afford to live here, because it's definitely one of the most beautiful places on Earth. He's like, you know what? Japan's a little too beautiful. We're gonna curse you with some really, really bad weather. Especially in summer. You know, the main time that people like to enjoy themselves. Saying goodbye to my last empty Arashiyama walk. I don't think I'll ever see it this empty ever again. <sighs> Why are you closed? Don't you know I dream about you? day and night. My favorite restaurant has a closed shop. I don't know if they close because it's late. It's like 2.30 or because there's a typhoon or because it's a Monday. Sigh. I really fixed my mouth for crab dombri. All right, favorite restaurant is closed. I really don't know why, but it helps us to narrow down the options of what to eat. However, I fixed my mouth for this. You know how you just like think about it all day and try and get your appetite ready for what you're about to eat? I call it fixed my mouth. My mouth was fixed for a crab rice bowl and it's not getting it now. So I don't know, my, my mouth is bougie. For once, I'm not shocked. There should be a giant typhoon coming, so. But we're like well into the day and we still don't have no rain, nothing. This typhoon coming is gonna be at night. Anyways, plan B for food because we still haven't eaten and it's 2 30. we're gonna try something new since sub shop's closed creme brulee on top of sweet potatoes sounds yummy oh it has ice cream we're gonna go to the burger shop, but we're too hungry. Not gonna be able to make it there alive. I'm gonna try a snack that I've never tried in Rashiyama. It's a creme brulee sweet potato. We got ice cream on top and a strawberry skewer. Was not expecting this to be a 10 out of 10. Fire. Starting to get real typhoony out here. I got the lava burger, which is the burger melted in a lot of cheese. It has two patties, avocado, tomato. I added mochi, and I believe there's also bacon somewhere in here. This looks like it should be illegal, but like honestly, I remember the last time I finished this and I didn't feel sick at all. Like I didn't even feel heavy and gross like I normally would eating like McDonald's or opera soba or ramen. Today though, I'm kind of full right now. That sweet potato really did the trick. I don't remember how I ate this last time. Neither do I. There's two patties in here. All right. Ash just turned off the alarm, but we just got the uh, typhoon warning. I think it's time to go. The rain finally started, but like the day's over, so I'm not mad at all. Like everything's closing anyways. We were in there, we got two typhoon warnings. 
so shocked at how this town is like preparing for a typhoon. So like all the boats are being taken up from the river, of course, I guess. But they even like laid down the bus sign. Yeah, the bus stop was lying down. The bus stop was on the ground. Like everything's prepared so things can't blow away. We're gonna head back by train. But when I was looking up the directions, it was like, there's delays. I'm just really hoping we don't get like stuck on a track or something. We're a little too far to take a taxi because it'd be too expensive. Stuck? I'm so happy it's on a train. The ones with like the double seats that face each other. 